Hello, my starseed loved ones. Welcome back to the Soulmate Journey Empath. This is the reading that, hands down, since I've started doing readings, I am the most excited about delivering to you. And if you have been following me for a while, you may have noticed that the way that I have traditionally handled starseed readings is I've been called to use specific decks. I've pre-shuffled, laid those cards out, and had to pick a card pile. This reading is going to be different because this reading, um, I'm going to pull oracle messages for different starseed groups. But most of what I have picked up for this reading is through access to the Akashic Records. And as many of you know, Ascension is nigh. A lot of you have been working individually on your soul journey, working through karmic cycles, getting into alignment and soul consciousness. And um, for many of you, this has involved a significant commitment to your spiritual body and to getting in touch with your soul, your soul groups, and um, really coming into a sense of mission of what role do I individually have to play um, as a star seed, as a soul incarnated as part of the collective on planet Earth. And right now is a very, very crucial juncture in the ascension process for the collective. We effectively have started a split to a 5D timeline. The 3D timeline, 4D timeline is continuing, but the 5D has come in. And with us having the assistive energy of the portal, um, this reading is being recorded on the winter solstice um, in the Northern Hemisphere here in the United States. And it's the shortest day of the year. It's the, uh, the end of um, the influx of portal energy between 1212 and 1221. Now portals um, can be considered as assistive energy for things that are already in alignment, okay? And that's the perspective that I am coming from when I'm discussing portal energies. What happens when we have a portal is if we are engaged in our soul growth, we are engaged in conscious of karmic patterns, karmic lessons, past life karma, soul group karma. Um, we're each walking our individual path while we're contributing to collective energies. And what these portals do is offer an opportunity for, um, if you're in alignment for this assistive energy to kind of level you up and, um, support um, decisions that are in alignment with your purpose, with your path, with your mission. And this has been an incredibly transformative portal in terms of soul consciousness for the collective, but more specifically for star seeds. And um, I have been in and out of the records a few times. I have been pointed in specific directions. Um, to prepare this reading for you today. And so you may notice that there are some soul groups that I am not um, giving any transmissions for in this reading and some that I have not previously, but I'm giving transmissions for today. So I am really, really excited about all of this uh, material that I do have to share with you um, that is channeled from the Akashic Records from each of these individual soul groups. And one of the things that you may notice is I'm going to split these soul groups into um, seven transmissions rather than eight. And that is because um, Vega star seeds and Syrian star seeds um, missions are very much in alignment right now. So um, if you came across this reading, chances are there is something that you can gain from it. Uh, another note that I'd like to make is that um, many soul groups, when we begin Ascension, are willing to connect with us, are willing to channel through us. 
um, through our mediumship abilities, and they provide healing, guidance, all kinds of intuitive messages. And so um, one of the things that I wanted to just go ahead and throw out there is there are millions of folks that are connecting with Arcturian energy, and they do not happen to be members of the Arcturian soul group. That's okay, because uh, Arcturians have developed these amazing modalities for healing that are um, blueprints for healing that have been shared throughout the universe. If we talk about these other soul groups, they have had uh, contact with Arcturians and been guided by Arcturians. And so a lot of people uh, may resonate with messages with the Arcturians as an example from soul groups that you may not um, have had incarnations with. But as you ascend, you are going to be on a more open channel and pick up on these energies, pick up on these messages and be able to align yourself with the assistance of these different soul groups. So the soul groups that I will be discussing in this reading are Hadar star seeds, Pleiadin star seeds, Arcturian star seeds, Vagan slash Syrian star seeds, Mintakan star seeds, Nihal star seeds, and Alpha Centaurians. So if you resonate with those soul groups, you know you're a member of that soul group, or those um, star seed traits resonate with you, check out the reading. Even if you have been identified as being a member of a different soul group, it's not to say that these energies are not working with you through you and that you don't have some type of agency in this mission for ascension of the collective where coming into contact with people from that specific soul group are going to be beneficial for you and impart wisdom, knowledge, and perhaps even healing modalities. So I hope that you are as excited as I am. And for this next part of the reading, um, I will be getting into the messages channeled from the Akashic Records for the soul groups that I mentioned, as well as I was guided to pick specific oracle decks to deliver oracle messages for these soul groups. So I thank you so very much for all of your support. I am sending you so much strength, healing, love, and light. And I hope that you are really feeling the soul pull, really feeling the call to step into your divinity because the time is now. Hello, my Arcturian star seeds, and welcome back to the Soulmate Journey Empath. I have some amazing messages that I retrieved from the Akashic Records, and that is the primary substance of our reading. I will grab some Oracle messages, but I'm really excited to go ahead and get into these messages. So first of all, Arcturian star seeds. Um, we have several Arcturian star seeds incarnate right now. This is a very special soul group. Um, many people are able to connect with Arcturian energies, even if you are not a member of the Arcturian soul group. And the reason for that is that the Arcturians have participated in ascension in uh, these other systems and been of help, been of assistance, specifically through sharing healing modalities. And so um, I was guided to use the Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle for you. I typically am. And again, these messages are for the Arcturian Soul Group as well as anyone who is working with Arcturian Guides, which could be numerous others from um, other soul groups. So I see um, two chakras really activated for you right now. First of all, the third eye. The third eye is just lit up. Um, and what that is doing is you're bringing in this information um, 
you're getting these downloads. And I actually have the phrase from my guides, holy shit, the downloads. And so I'm feeling like a lot of my Arcturian star seeds or those of you that are working with Arcturians are kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm getting so much right now. Um, this is also interacting with the sacral chakra because some of these things are things that you already knew on a soul level, um, but they're subconscious, not conscious. And so you're getting intuitive and empathic hits at the same time um, where you're really like, it, in an all-encompassing way, you're really identifying with the messages that you're getting. Um, what I'm seeing in terms of the Arcturian soul group and how they're working in the collective right now is I see a ton of Arcturians involved with electro electronics or electrical systems. Um, a significant number of musicians because um, one of the main modalities of Arcturian healing is frequency or sound. Um, I'm also getting folks involved in cellular telecom or websites in the Arcturian soul group. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm also getting that a lot of yogis um, may not specifically be from the Arcturian soul group, but are working with Arcturian modalities and getting Arcturian downloads right now. And um, as always, uh, a fairly significant cross-section of this soul group are also visual artists of some type that are incorporating sacred geometry as a healing modality. So again, large volumes. I have that written in all caps, large volumes of data for these healing modalities are coming in for you. And I'm also getting that like millions of people are connecting with the Arcturians right now, not just the Arcturian soul group. And uh, part of a lot of this information that you're getting, the first step in transmitting those light codes and incorporating those modalities is to work them for yourself. So I'm getting a lot of self-healing um, with the Arcturian soul group right now. So I pre-shuffled and on the bottom of the deck, we have consciousness. Look at that beautiful sacred geometry. This is number 17, one and seven go to eight. So this is putting work in on your ascension path. The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all of the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them into our reality. So again, really supporting that message that I got from the Akashic Records about, holy shit, the downloads, large volumes of data coming in. Let's get some messages for the Arcturian soul group. And we have two already here. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I am seeing this recurring theme and I'm, this is just, amazing. Um, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put these cards out so you can see, and as you can see, consciousness came back. So that is definitely a message for you. And I love that card because literally, um, many Arcturian star seeds have synesthesia. I work with Arcturian guides and I have synesthesia, even though I am not a member of the Arcturian soul group and synesthesia essentially, um, colors, numbers, um, sounds, they're all interrelated. So like letters and numbers have a sound and a color to me. Um, I get visualizations when I hear specific frequencies. Um, it's kind of like, um, watching like a psychedelic, <laughs> um, screen saver for the music on your computer, but when your eyes are closed. So it's just amazing. Um, and I have, uh, worked as a musician myself. I used to DJ EDM 
and synesthesia played a huge role in that. So there was a lot of Arcturian guidance for me. And when I see these blues, this is the color that I associate with the Arcturians. This is what comes through for me when I'm connecting with the Arcturian soul group or Arcturian guides. So there's your consciousness. This is, yes, this is ascension. Yes, it is happening here. Yes, it is happening now. And yes, you are getting these downloads and really putting the work in with that 17 reducing to an eight. Eights are about putting the work in. You're putting the work in on your ascension path. Now, I love this next message, dynamic. And this is number 23, two and three add to a five. So this is about a catalyst or a change. The frequency of dynamics supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and joy. And really, I think the message here is a lot of folks from other soul groups work with Arcturians and incorporate all these different modalities. Um, but what's interesting is Arcturians are a common thread that have interacted with a lot of soul groups and shared these modalities, um, shared this universal consciousness. And so another thing that I'm getting that's a huge hit, and this is like channeled on the spot, is that when we look around planet Earth, different civilizations, different continents, different time periods, we see evidence of interaction with Arcturians every step of the way. Think about how many different cultures, um, you know, use sacred geometry and understand its power. Um, and so what's interesting is um, that in this period of collective ascension, we are supposed to unify and bring together all these dynamic and seemingly different modalities because um, the sum is the the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And we need these dynamic modalities to help with the collective ascension process. And so I'm getting that a lot of you, whether you're part of the Arcturian soul group or just working with Arcturians, are beginning to see the interconnectedness and the infinite potential in blending these different modalities, blending these different perspectives, blending these different elements for the same outcome. Next, we have fertility, which is number 27, two and seven add to nine. This is a reflective spiritual number. Fertility, the frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, courageous, creative, and joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something new to grow from our consciousness into a grander expression of ourselves. So this is literally pulling in the 5D. In being able to see these different parts. Um, there's almost an alchemy here to your ability now from this expanded place of consciousness with all of these downloads to bring these elements together and through alchemy and manifestation, translate them from light codes into something very, very tangible in our reality right now. And this is the part where I am just like, wow, because it seems like Arcturians have been on a tantric journey for several months now, or those of you that are working with Arcturian energy. And this is tantric journey number 42, four and two add to six, which is about harmony, which is about balance. The frequency of tantric journey helps us to unlock hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold on to about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences with ourselves and another. Arcturians are great at working this individual spiritual path, and you're probably really good at it even if you just work with Arcturian energies, Arcturian guides. Um, but you're really being called upon to partake in this yourself. You're not just an instrument um, to serve the collective. You are a member of the collective. And as you ascend, your energy is drawing others to ascend as well. 
you may be focused on reaching out and healing people individually. But again, here I, I got that message from the records about the sacral chakra, about empathically, about experiencing it for yourself. Coming from this divine feminine energy that is receptive to experiencing these things and not just thinking about them in the abstract. To be a willing participant in ascension rather than... Um, rather than, you know, thinking about the process itself. There is more than just understanding and recognizing the process and getting these downloads. Ascension is a lived experience for all members of the collective. Next, we have number 39, romantic love. Three and nine add to 12, reduced to three. Three is a master number. Um, the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience and reflection of a conscious lover. So again, this is not getting tickets and watching, uh, ascension from the sidelines. This is living ascension. This is fully living it in a human body from a human experience. And that is going to make you unfold like this cosmic flower here, which is number 18, one and eight, add to nine. Again, a spiritual, divinely guided, reflective number. The frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home and the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. So a big message that I'm getting here for Arcturian souls and for those that are working with the energies of this soul group is that you are part of this collective. Yes, you see this bigger mission, this bigger picture, and you see that you have a role to play in it, but you have a day-to-day -day role. You have a personal stake in it. This is um, in order to have unconditional love, romantic love is an aspect of our lives. And having a spiritual, sexual connection also grounds us um, between our divinity and our humanity and strikes that beautiful balance. And we can see with this tantric journey, the Merkaba is pictured here. And here we can see that it is programmed receptive or uh, projective this way this would turn outward. So there are gifts that you have that you, in order to be fulfilling your full mission, have to share with others. You can't be detached from this human experience or this ascension of the collective. You are an active part in it. You have human agency in this. You are a bridge between the divine and the earthly. And so part of bringing in that energy of synergizing those different elements together is living this full human experience that allows you to, as you ascend, to unfold, to open, and to really be living and practicing each day from this beautiful place of unconditional love. So big message for um, the Arturian soul group or those working with Arturians is do not sit on the sidelines for ascension. You may be used to having a more hands-off role in the day-to-day -day practice of ascension and you are being asked to participate, to take an active part in it and to not forget um, your earthly aspect of this journey, which involves practicing and sharing very spiritual healing and unconditional love with others in romantic connections. All right. So if you're not really connecting with others, you don't feel that call. Again, this video is for 18 up. So I have no problem saying that um, you can participate in a tantric journey as an individual um, through uh, transmitting light 
um, when you climax, you are transmitting light, sending good intention, sending positive, beautiful energy into the collective. And so some of you may have been practicing this tantric journey um, in your spiritual and physical body, but not sharing it, not having it reciprocated with another. And that may be something that is really coming in for you in 2020. If you are finding that you are kind of in a solitary space as far as your sensual reality. So I really hope that these messages resonated with you, my Arcturian loved ones. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram for additional content or schedule a private reading. All of that information is included in the description box below. So until next time, my Arcturian loved ones, I'm sending you lots and lots of healing, love, so much love, and light. Bye-bye.